Hey everyone, Newman here with 910. Today I've got a special new tool to show you. I've got the STX liner lock tool. So this is for removing and installing the liner lock on an STX barrel or an FX STX barrel, one that has a liner lock. Uh, this is only going to work for calibers 177 through 30 because they are the ones that have a 10 millimeter uh, flats on the end. Uh, the 35 caliber, you have to stick an Allen key through uh, or, or a round object through the hole that's drilled in it. So set this down. Here's the tool itself. Let's get it focused. There we go. It is made from stainless steel. It's a 304 stainless steel. So you never have to worry about rusting. It's, it is CNC machined as well with a uh, high quality plating on the outside. So this tool should last you uh, at least a lifetime, if not a couple lifetimes. I've done extensive testing, uh, a very rigorous testing with the internal flats here uh, on how to uh, how they could possibly be damaged or whatnot. And these things hold up to extreme amounts of torque. Um, I, I've even used them in my DeWalt driver here. So they take a lot of torque. They work really well and it's, it works just as simple as you see the two flats there one on each side that lines up to what's on the end here so essentially just comes in it locks in just like that see there it's nice and tight so this end right here is a quarter inch drive this will fit in any normal quarter inch drive so like I mentioned here my DeWalt driver goes right in just fine pop it out of there if I want to put in like my Panasonic tool here same thing Chucks right in, gives you some, some good wiggle room to accommodate a couple different tools. And then also, if I want to go back the old style, or if I really want to get uh, uh, precise, I can use uh, actually uh, like a torque driver that, that takes a quarter inch drive. So see there, it goes right into there. It doesn't have to lock in, it's still a quarter inch drive. So first thing, I'm going to show you how to take off the liner lock. You're going to line up the flats, get on there nice and tight. Then you're going to take your uh, whatever tool you're going to use. I like to use the driver to take it off, not to put it on. So you take it, and you can do this while the barrel's in the rifle normally. I just have mine outside the rifle. This one, my spare barrels. And there you go. There you go right there. Came right off. So now we're going to take this out of the driver. You don't want to install with an impact driver or anything like that. You can over torque it, which is going to cause an extra, extra torsion that you don't need on your liner. So that can cause issues there. Uh, you can also cause uh, threading issues. So you don't want to install with an impact driver or, or really any sort of power tool. So to put back on, we're going to start the threads by hand. So get on there. Start it by hand. And then we can use a low power power tool such as this Panasonic here. I'm going to turn my torque here all the way down to 1 so it's at the lowest setting. And there you go. I mean that's barely tight so this is about the equivalent of I think about 12 inch pounds is 1. So then we're going to go over here to the torque driver. I like to set my barrels at about 14 inch pounds. So there you go. So there you go. There's 14 inch pounds for just, just for an example. It doesn't have to be 14 inch pounds. You get to choose what you put it at because there's no factory, factory recommendation exactly what to set it at. But uh, I would say 14 is a good place to start. Any case, that was the showcase of the liner lock tool. Again, 304 stainless steel with a, a special stainless steel plating on the outside. So you're never going to have to worry about that. And it just sits right there on the flats. It only goes on the 10 millimeter. It only goes on here uh, because it's not, a, it's not a hex. It's just flat. So uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below or shoot me an email. All my contact info and all my social media info will be in the description below as well. And as always, happy shooting.